Hey everyone, Ray Moonwolf here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Sword. Last time we kind of went on a Dynamax adventure through this area, met with Peony and Peonia, and kind of had to deal with that malarkey. Today we're going to be starting our little adventure with them. Oh, and you can see Peonia here. Oh, hey Ray, you alright? Me? I'm carrying on like usual, I suppose. The trick to having a good Dynamax adventure? Well, we'll be using moves like Reflect or Light Screen to stave off some damage is a big help. Eh, not a bad trick, I suppose. Anyway, let's go ahead and head on out. Go to Freezington, where Peony is waiting. <laughs> or, like, there he is right there, just rushing off into the wilderness. Well, that's our cue, so let's go ahead and head on over. Get away from all the ice types, cause, oh boy. But, here we are. Small little town in the middle of nowhere. Freezington. Hello, hello. What have we here? Another visitor? I'm the mayor of this fair town of Freezington. I must say, it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our out-of-the-way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvest as well? Um, sure. I'm always interested in this sort of thing. Ah, never mind. It hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to a sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this Freezington specialty as a memento. Freezington's Fame Boat Neck Sweatshirt. It's a shirt emblazoned with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvests. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we'd hoped. We've got a fair number left over. The illustration's based on extremely ancient accounts of the King's appearance. Hence the unusually sized head. But we thought it might make the design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see what the king really looked like, then I suggest taking a look at the statue by the fields at the center of our village. By the by, while you're here in the Crown Tundra, feel free to let your lead Pokemon out of its ball and take it for a stroll. Farewell for now, then. Oi! Well, there's our base of operations. Over here, Ray! Well then, before we head into there... Oh! <laughs> I don't know if I want Mordred out and about. Uh, let's bring... S you know what? Let's bring out Cease just for the heck of it. I want to see how big he is. Oh boy, <laughs> you big. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look around town first before we go and see Peony. Utility Umbrella. Item held by a Pokemon, the sturdy umbrella protects the holder from the effects of rain and harsh sunlight. That's actually an interesting item. I'm surprised they hadn't thought of one of those until just now. Well, there's a Beldum. Wonder what this place, whose house this is. Any who's it? There's all sorts of stuff around here, if I recall right. I believe I saw an item back here. Yes, I did. Blunder policy raises speed sharply when someone misses a move because of accuracy. Huh. And we got a teeny technical record. Amnesia? I guess people are forgetting this sleepy town even exists, so... Eh. <laughs> and... What do you sell? Okay, Moo Moo Milk, Lava Cookies, and... Selling pearls, really? Off 
village may not be the liveliest place, but you do have a relaxing stay and enjoy the sights. I suppose there's not much to see besides that little statue, but enjoy the one sight anyway. Eh, well, I wouldn't mind a little town like this. Oh, hello there, you cute little eldritch being. It's cold outside, dearie. Why not stay a while and get warmed up? Oh, that's Foofy. I found it shivering outside the village and just had to bring it home. You know, I think I was just about... I think it was just about when I found Foofy that other strange Pokémon began appearing in the tundra. Never seen a Pokémon like Foofy before. Maybe it'd be best to have a proper trainer take care of it. Only I'd find a dependable one. Hmm. Well then, that's interesting. You like walking around with your favorite Pokémon? Of course! Right, it's the best! Enjoy walking all over the place! Yeah, so that, that'll that lead... They're basically the show if they turn on and off that that ability. Uh, let's see... Got some more stuff around here. I can't get over there from here. All our youngins have gone to live off in the big city. It's tough for us old folks getting by with only our Pokémon. Hmm. Uh, let me see if I can sneak around you all, so I can grab this piece of charcoal. Alrighty. Yeah. I don't want to fight. Let's see. Every year the cold seems to be to bite harder. It's getting to be too much for these old bones. When you're trudging through the snow, you've got to really stamp down in with your heels. Helps keep your face... keep from face planting in the snow drift. Eh. And here's the mare again. Oh, no, I haven't had a look at the uh, statue yet. <clears throat> Might as well take a good look at it. It's a statue of a Pokemon, some but somehow it feels like as if it's missing something. Huh. Anywho, let's go ahead and not waste any more time and go see what the crazy steel type users are up to. Ah, here you are! This pokey little place will be our lodgings. But as of this moment, it's also something far more important. Our base camp! I know, I know, not much of a base camp, is it? Still, we've got to give it a proper air of importance, have we? Now, enough faffing about, Ray. Tell me about what the Peony Exploration Team is after. Around here, we've, they've got a few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge-headed Pokémon that's known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. Not to mention, a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokémon gather. And furthermore, these great halting dot-faced giants that sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends. And we're not stopping until we found just how much truth they've got to them. And there you have it. We are the Peony Exploration Team. And that's our grand, noble, magnificent goal. Of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. But who knows, they say even chancy meetings can lead to blissful re friendships. Oh god, that was awful. So here's to a grand adventure, Expedition Chief Ray. Uh, who, me? Obviously! Look, what do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivanting off together? My dear Nia could come off along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it, my own darling daughter sitting alone in this room, pining for her papa. Gah! Nope, not on my watch. I'm never going to let that happen. So, I'll be the hold down the fort chief. Which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition chief. <laughs> Which brings me to this. Go on, have it. We got ourselves an expedition uniform. Nice. Alrighty. <laughs> Look at that! Fits you like a glove! 
I brought some spare uniforms my dear Nia would have a few to change into, so there's enough to give you one. And if you ever need to change or have a ki or have a kip, by, by all means, just head into the bedroom back here. I've got some different colored scarves in there to switch it up to fancy, if you fancy a bit of style. Here, have these two. Legendary Clue 1. Clue about the King of Bountiful Harvests. There's a fairy tale in Freezington about the Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. In the legends, it's said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue near the fields in the middle of the village shows no signs of a crown. Alright. Far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where a giant of stone sleeps. One temple's doors are strange words. Let the blank mon blank change one. The door remains firmly shut. Sunk into the side of Snowside Slope is this one. On the temple is wave together Iving Crystal of Snow. Oh, walk together with the living crystal of snow. Oh, I know what this one is. Let's see. And then let out... Hmm. Alright. I'm kind of sh sure what one of these are, but I'm not entirely sure. And Legendary Clue 3. Legend of the Bird Pokemon. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly on a great tree which leaps with leaves that seem to burn, it's, it's there that legendary wings come to roost. And these drawings are very childish. Their legendary clues are meticulously compiled from hours of dedicated telewatching. First off, why not have a look at the clue about the King of Bountiful Harvests? Seems like the King's bonds with its loyal seed, or whatever you call it, runs proper deep. So if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it... The Sacred Bonds of Sovereign and Steed. <laughs> oh boy. There's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of the village, though its head ain't as massive as in my notes. Um, well I'm not... While I was keen to wear the outfit for the dojo, I'm not too keen on this outfit. Yeah, I'm going to change back into my usual outfit. All set. Time to investigate the legends surrounding the Crown Tundra. Aha! I've just had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. Jesus Christ! This is supposed to be a one mega ch uh, corker of a ball. Use it whenever you think you ought to. I got it ages ago from somebody I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it, though. If you ever get a bit turned around, come on back to base camp anytime. You can't miss it, just look for the adve adventuring crew flag I stuck out front. Handmade by yours truly. Gee, I wouldn't have guessed. Anyway, suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. First off... This thing. Hey, Chief, my pillow... Pillow? Your pillow. Boy, listen here, Chief. I got some wisdom to impart. If you can't put your head on it and have a kip, it's a pillow. If you can put your head... Uh, okay. Unfortunately, I wouldn't left my favorite pillow back at home. So I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head on and found this back behind the inn. Can I have it? Come off it. You want the... You want me to hand over my Ultra Mega- That thing is made of wood. It's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. Um, yeah. What's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with the legendary Pokémon? Gah! Ultra Mega, seriously? This is just some old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? Alright, alright, go on, then have it. But you better make sure to track that legend down. Gee, I wonder what the- yeah, it's a fucking wooden crown. 
Mysterious object made of wood. Part of it seems to be chipped. Maybe it's meant to be part of something. Gee, I wonder what it could be part of. Ooh, pretty bright and shiny out there. But yeah, now the wild area is now truly and properly opened up to us. And there's a lot to explore in this place. This place is a lot bigger than the Isle of Armor, to be quite honest, and very confusing in places. I'm likely to get turned around quite a bit. But first off, let's have a look at that statue. This is the big first clue that we have, so... Let's go ahead and fit the crown on top. The wooden crown fit perfectly on the statue. Ooh. Now what was that? Oh. Hello there. Does it want you to follow it? Interesting. Well then. Hello, little fella. It seems as if the mysterious Pokémon wants to test your strength. You want to ready a Pokéball? Mysterious Pokémon appeared. Ooh, how regal. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and... Fire Fang. Aha! Heal Pulse. Trying to heal me? Why would you ever want to do that when I'm trusting your strength? Or your... Or are you just testing mine? Either way, down and two. It's a sprite Pokémon, which means it's got 100 stats across the board. Which is not bad, but... Huh. Uh, I can't understand you, but it seems like you're happy. Did you have fun? I cannot understand a word you're saying, my little friend. Uh. Hmm. Right. Oi, what's up? I heard a big ruckus coming from over here. What's this now, Chief? You were, were you having a Pokemon battle? Huh? What a massive noggin! What's this? You gotta be... <sighs> Ah yes, a sturdy body, just as I expected. I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Are you a Pokémon? Oh, I see you've grasped the situation already. Very astute of you. I am Calrex. I am the, the one known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have borrowed this man's body in order to t thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately, adequately express my gratitude towards you for restoring my statue. In days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me loyalty and respect, and I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvests year after year. However, it seems that over many, many years, the people of this land had forgotten my existence. They used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me strength. And now I have lost all but a fraction of my former power, 
Even my loyal steed has abandoned me. However, you are kind enough to restore my statue. That act has returned some strength to me. At least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, there's a f I have a favor to ask of you. I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvests. I've tried asking them my myself, you understand, but they treated me like some sort of fairy tale creature or flew into a mild panic at the sight of me. Please, kind-hearted human, I beg of you to help me. Well, <laughs> uh, on the current status of the first clue, Calyrex appeared once I placed the crown on the statue of the King of Beautiful Harvest. Calyrex can apparently speak to humans by talking, taking over a person's body. Peony, in this case. Now I need to gather more information on the King of Bountiful Harvest from the people of the village. And, well, we still got a little bit of time left. <laughs> Poor Peony. He's just, a, he's just a mindless vessel for this fella. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and ask around town, I suppose. There's no one in here. So, let's keep going. Let's try here. Alright. Crown Tundra is famous for carrots, you know. Maybe it'd be interested in getting some carrot seeds as a souvenir? Uh, yes please. Ooh, quite the enthusiastic one, aren't you? Though I must admit, these seeds are rather valuable to us. How about a trade? You bring me eight pieces of dynite ore, and I give you the seeds. Woohoo, life is about quid pro quo, or whatever the phrase is, is quid pro quo. Oh, wonderful, this is plenty. Now we can bury the ore in our field and make our crops huge. You have the seeds as promised. Alright. Seeds to plant in a field. The kind of carrots you get is determined by which field you plant the seeds in. Don't go planting... The seeds I gave you willy nilly in the village fields now. These fields are for our own crops. Huh. The King of Bountiful Harvest? I used to believe it was really no. I was told that if I made mischief in the fields, the king would steal my body away. The Pokemon King? Oh sure, my grand used to tell me about it all the time when I was a kid. Old fairy tale that. Hmm. Well, let's ask the mayor. Do I remember the King of Bountiful Harvest? Why, of course I do! It's only the main tourist attraction of our lovely Freezington, after all. Imagine we would get more vis visitors if only the King were real. Huh. Interesting. Well, if it exists, why doesn't it heal the land around here so we can grow crops for a change? Hmm. Maybe you need to give something in return. Quid pro quo, as they say. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I'm busy rather doing nothing right now. Hmm. You asked the people of Freezington. Time to report back to the... Little King. <laughs> okay. Let's give our report. Ah, human child. I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. So how was it? Did they say anything about me? Mm, that you were just a fairy tale. Hmm, it's as I suspected. Nobody truly believes I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm? Oh no, of course I'm not grieving. I'm the King of Altaville Harvest after all. I know better than to count on humans to remember me. This proves beyond doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my loyal steed were to return to me, I would regain something of what I've lost. Is it a Pokémon? Yes, the four-legged Pokémon that I used to ride all across the land. The very same Pokémon that my statues in the village shows me riding. Alas, though, in ancient times we spent many days together, dashing through the valleys and over the mountains of this land. My power waned and I was forced to part ways with it. Now, I know not where it may be. 
Even if we should succeed in locating my loyal steed, I have my doubts as to whether it has remained, well, loyal. I have lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my current not-so-loyal steed. I would be in your debt if you could speak to the head of the village on my behalf. If you're able to find any information at all, I ask that you let me know. Well. Huh? What? What? Huh? Chief? With a massive noggin? Or... Wait, no, it's normal. I must have fallen asleep where I stood. Sorry about that, Chief. Whew, still I feel strange. Like, my body's not quite my own. Guess I'll head back to base and get some rest. Besides, it's freezing out here. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Peony. <laughs> Nothing but... <laughs> A vessel for the king. But, yeah, I think that'll do it for this episode. We managed to find the legendary Pokemon of sorts, and now we're going to try to, well, help it get its power back to maybe make the land a better place than it once was, or... I don't know. It's all very mysterious, but... I guess until then, this has been Ray Moonwolf, signing out. Later guys, and have a good day.